are a big fan of Halloween, and it's hard to believe it's just a couple of weeks away. Do you have a costume picked out? I don't yet. I'm one of these last minute people. But, you know, there's still plenty of time. There's plenty of events around the Twin Cities to get you into the spooky spirit if you're not yet. This morning, Kate Raditz is at the Trail of Terror in Shakopee. And, Kate, we've been reporting on a lot of different mazes around the Twin Cities, but you've got something kind of unique this morning. Yeah, this is a little bit different, Kim. We are here at the Haunted Maze at the Trail of Terror in Shakopee. Not only is it a heated indoor maze, which is pretty nice out here this morning, but it's also the largest heated indoor maze in the Twin Cities, which is pretty cool. And I'm here with Brian uh, Anderson with Trail of Terror. Thanks for being up early with us this morning. You're very welcome. Uh, so this has been here, the maze has been here in all 22 years since Trail of Terror started. What can people expect when they, they come through these doors here? Oh, they can expect a lot of terror, a lot of shock, and hopefully by the end they'll be crying as they exit. I heard, I was talking to some of the creepy, creepy creatures. They said sometimes people get a little emotion, even emotional walking through these rooms. There are 25 rooms in here. It's three quarters of a mile. Now, I know this has been here a while, but what are some of the attractions that are newer this year, that are new? Uh, we have an escape room this year. We added a brew pub this year. They added a few video games into our club Scream. They have Knocker Ball, which they added, which is a lot of fun. You get in the giant blow up balls and run into each other. And I saw that there's paintball too. I heard the paintball is yep. really popular. Zombie paintball, yes. Zombie paintball. Doesn't get every, any better than that. <laughs> no, not really. And what about for wimps like me, where maybe this is a little too much? Are there some scare free options maybe for people? Well, you can do the zombie paintball. It's not too frightening. Again, you can do the knocker ball, which is just a fun thing to do. We've got two fire pits you can sit around and enjoy the warmth. Uh, we do have a dire wolf that people can look at. They have karaoke, which is always fun. And I saw you guys have a, a 5K this weekend as well. Yes, we have the zombie 5K. I think it's called The Running Dead. The Running Dead, perfect. So I know if you want to find ticket information, where can, can people find out more about that? TrailTerrorMN.com is our website. And I know they sell some tickets at some of the gas stations. So there's a few different places you can buy stuff at. You have discount days. We also have uh, ticket information up for you on our website at WCCO.com slash links. And coming up in the 6 o'clock hour, we'll be taking on a little tour through one of the rooms, which I can't wait to see who might be out here, you guys. <laughs> All right. We just hope, Kate, that you don't get too emotional while walking through that tour. Thanks so much. Well, if you cannot tell from this graphic here behind us, but it's the spookiest holiday of the year that's coming up. Ghosts, goblins, even Elsa costumes. I know there were a lot of those last year. Halloween is two weeks away, but we wanted to take you to find one of the haunted attractions that you can visit over the weekend in the Twin Cities. And Kate Raditz is live at the Trail of Terror in Shakopee. Kate, is it scary? Are you scared? Well, yeah, it's 6.40 in the morning and pitch black. It's scary, Allie. <laughs> no, it is scary out here. We've been going through some of the rooms here, uh, here at the Haunted Maze inside the Trail of Terror. I'm here this morning uh, with Shelly Whitehead. Thanks for being here That's with us, Shelly. It's good to be here. I know this is a really popular attraction. It's it been here for 22 years. What are some of the other things that people keep coming back here for, and what's new this year? Well, what's exciting is we do have five different mini mazes that you can go in, and they're kind of a, a whole... Uh, sensory issue. So like if you have issues with bugs or maybe blood, it's a really great opportunity to face those fears. They keep telling me I, my voice is a little sore from all the screaming I've been doing, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's a really great opportunity. We also have a 5K this this coming Saturday, which we really want people to come and be a part of because we're going to have free zombie makeup. So you come dressed up as you want and then we'll zombify you. So come as a princess, come as whatever you want. That'd be great. Another great fun attraction, of course, is the paintball where you can shoot. That's really popular. You could shoot zombies. How much fun could that be, especially after watching all of these shows on TV? Now, are there scare-free options for people like me that are Any, big whips? Right? <laughs> I know. I can't believe you're going to go through this maze in a minute. I'm yeah. really proud of you because I don't want to do it. Um, yeah, there's actually great bonfires. There's two different bonfires. And then at Club Scream, it's this great heated tent where you can go and you can actually do all sorts of fun twister. There's also things like Hammerschlagen, which if you've awesome. never done Hammerschlagen, I really encourage you to do it. In the morning. But uh, yeah, you don't want to scare call. anyone now mm -hmm. that uh, there there was nothing scary about that shot. It looked like it was just having some technical no, problems. No, no, those were ghosts. Oh, were they? It was the zombies. They were causing Zombies problems. biting the cables and then the ghosts mm -hmm. attacking Kate. That's what happened. Yeah. No technical problems. Please.